Hey friends and welcome to the second part of our video staying at the Western Kolkata. We will begin this video on the rooftop deck and lounge area called 3132. The views are simply breathtaking and you get this beautiful view of the city from up here. I was fortunate enough to get clear skies and there was no sign of rain. Now you get the views of the eco park from this side of the deck which is a popular tourist destination here in Kolkata. You even have the iconic Biswa Bangla tower which is just a few minutes drive from the hotel. You can view the whole horizon and enjoy the city views. The sun was setting and the skies looked beautiful. I did not stay to enjoy the sunset but if you'd like to then you know where you gotta be if you are staying at this hotel. You have comfortable seating, chairs, tables to wine and dine in the evening especially during the winters. You have a small open bar area of course it's not operational now due to COVID. The views are of course spectacular from any part of this deck no matter where you're standing you cannot fault the views. For the sports lovers, you got this big projector TV where you can enjoy your drinks while you're watching your favorite game. You even had a restaurant here which is currently not operational again due to COVID. But I guess once you do have the numbers, they will get everything back to the way it was supposed to be. I then move on to the bar which is a part of the 3132. I guess they gave it this name because this bar is on the 31st floor and you have the rooftop deck on the 32nd floor. Talk about keeping it simple while naming your place. It's quite spacious and decently sized and is fully operational. You get the same spectacular city views and if you make it on time you can perhaps even see the sky changing colors during the sunset going from yellow to orange to pink to purple. So in case you want to enjoy your drinks while catching the sunset in the evening, this is definitely the place to be. You even have the hotel offering upgrade options which gives you access to this place along with drinks and snacks included in the upgrade. Feel free to ask the hotel for that option when you check in. We then went on to check their Japanese restaurant Nori on the 31st floor again. The views from here are again spectacular. You have this beautiful view of the eco park along with that huge water body and that tiny island. We decided to dine here in the evening and we'll also show you folks what the restaurant and the views look like once it's dark. So come evening time we came back to Nori. As you can see they had sanitizers and tissues and temperature checking equipment. They checked our temperatures and requested that we sanitize our hands upon entry. As you walk in you have a chef making some sushi and sashimi. You even have a place for teppanyaki. The restaurant looks quite nice even in the evening. And believe it or not, we were the only guests in the restaurant for the whole evening. It kind of made our evening really special as it felt like we had booked the whole place to just ourselves. Now you cannot see the water body properly in the evening but you do have a well lit city to keep your eyes set outside still. As you can see. This is quite a big restaurant and can comfortably have over 60 to 75 guests at one given time. You have lots of tables and chairs to accommodate your guests. Plus what's really nice is the fact that the tables have a good amount of distance between them. So private conversations remain private. 
It feels both nice and weird at the same time to be the only guests at the restaurant. My kid Ezekiel took full advantage of this and was running around the whole place. On this side of the restaurant, you have a nice private dining area with some cherry blossoms wallpaper to give it that Japanese feel. You can close the doors in this area and have a truly private dining experience if you do not want to be disturbed. Towards the end of the restaurant is a small room which feels like an area set up to have business meetings or private family gatherings. It can have a total of four guests. As we moved back outside the room, I guess Ezekiel was suddenly inspired to do some meditation. Let's take a look at him meditating. Oh my, what focus and concentration. But I guess it didn't last for long. Let's give it a try again, he says. Shall we? Well, I guess meditation is not really his thing. We decided to sit at this table as it was right in the middle of the restaurant, had great views and was right next to the kitchen. We were now all ready to enjoy our food. All the plates and the cutleries were placed inside the sheet of paper. It was more like an envelope and I guess they properly sanitized this and prepared it for the guests safety. We are now all set to begin our meals. We start our meals by enjoying some cucumber flavored sushi followed by tempura sushi. The tempura sushi was excellent. Although the sushi that we got was vegetarian, the tempura sushi was so delicious. In fact, Ezekiel mostly had this whole plate to himself. It was that good. I have some chicken shiitake dumplings on my plate along with some coriander flavored chicken dumplings. We even had some vegetarian spring rolls which were cutely sized and was served with some sweet plum sauce. The sauce was really good. Both the chicken dumplings were fresh and delicious. The coriander one had a very nice flavor to it and the chicken shiitake samai was nice and juicy. The For the main course, we had some ginger flavored fried rice along with Kung Pao chicken. Both the rice and the chicken were outstanding. The Kung Pao had this great sweet and chili flavor, even had a generous amount of cashews. We even had some Hakka style chili fish with fresh vegetables. Finally, finished our meals with a piece of mango pudding topped with some coconut milk. After enjoying our meals which took over two hours to complete, we were pleasantly surprised that it only cost us a total of 2,829 rupees which is roughly less than 40 US dollars. As you can see, they never charged us for our seven year old. Our experience overall in one word was outstanding. We ret retired to our room after that satisfactory meal and woke up next morning to take a tour of the third floor of the hotel, which had the gym, the swimming pool, and also the spa. We were trying to check if the gym was open, 
and were wondering if anyone is actually inside. To our surprise, it was open. We had a hotel staff called Shomo who was very courteous and was kind enough to show us around. As you can see, the gym is spacious, it has modern equipments. In fact, all these equipments that you see are almost brand new. They had these nice screens on tops and uh, you get your share of entertainment and stats while you are working out. So whether you are on the treadmill or lifting those weights you're gonna feel really fresh I asked Shomo for the gym uh, timings and he mentioned that it was open from 6.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the morning and again from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening as far as I remember. You have all the equipments that you need in the gym here. It's well stacked, spacious and is nice and bright. Well he was very kind and he gave us a tour of the whole floor starting with the gym and then moving on to the swimming pool which we're gonna see in a few minutes. Again you have a separate um, yoga area along with some kettlebell weights and you even have this view of the city in case you're tired of looking at just yourself. It's a great way to start your morning if you're really into working out and even if you're not this is a great time to start working out just to make sure that you're in the best of health we then move on to the swimming pool the pool of course could not be used due to COVID but we at least got to see what it looks like and we got to admit it's a very big pool with some lounge and seating area placed around it. There's nobody here because it cannot be used due to COVID. Too bad because Ezekiel really loves the pool and loves spending time in it. And this really looked like a very good pool. Maybe we'll get to use it next time. Until that time, the only thing that we can do is enjoy the views. We then head over to the uh, spa, which is called the Heavenly Spa. It has this nice reception area with a waiting area as well. The reception area is quite welcoming. Shomo requested that we take a look at uh, what this place has to offer. And again, he was kind enough to show us the rates of all the services that they offer in case you want to pause the video to take a look at the pricing then feel free to do that the spa was open and all you had to do is book an appointment a few hours prior to visiting now as soon as you enter 
the spa area, you have a male and also a female changing room. Which is right here. There is also this waiting or resting area in case you're not interested in the spa but your partner or family member wanted to tag you along. Well, instead of waiting at the reception area, you can relax here in this relaxing area. Perhaps even take a nap maybe. We realized this place was quite big. They had rooms on the right hand side starting with the first room. As you can see, this is where you get your Ayurvedic treatments. A nice Kerala style massage and Ayurvedic treatment. You have this area where you can lie down and relax and enjoy the massage. Every room has a separate shower area as well so you can freshen up after a relaxing massage or treatment. This is only one of the four rooms available here. As you walk down, you get to see the other rooms as well. They are mostly similar in size and shape and each one of them comes with a separate shower area. This is the third room. And finally you have one last room. At the end of the corridor, you had this huge couples massage room. In case you're a couple and want to enjoy these sessions together, then this is definitely the place to be. It even has a nice bathtub right in the middle and a separate shower and steam area as well. This is your shower and steam area once you're done with the massage. Ezekiel is wondering what goes on in here? <laughs> there is also a dedicated steam and sauna room. One for men and uh, another for women. So we went to check the men's sauna room. Thankfully at the time of recording there was no one here. So no one's getting exposed. So once you have had a nice massage, you can even come over to the sauna room, take steam bath and then cool off by taking a cool shower and then finally head out. I bet it's gonna be a very refreshing experience. After taking a tour of the third floor, we headed over to the 10th floor to have our breakfast at their 24 hour restaurant called Seasonal Tastes. The spread or options were fantastic, starting with bacons and sausages, grilled tomatoes or roasted potatoes. You even had two life counters and an area for freshly baked items from chocolate uh, croissants to plain croissants to chocolate and 
plain muffins, tea cakes, a Danish, chocolate donuts, buns, fresh breads which could be toasted. There's a lot of options here. And you would not be disappointed. You even had different choices of bread like multigrain, white or brown bread. Then you had some oats, baked beans, porridge, and finally some steamed vegetables and sauteed mushrooms. As I said, there were a couple of life counters. one for omelettes or any western dishes and another one for Indian dishes like idlis or dosas and uh, this side of the buffet breakfast had Indian dishes like varas and dal and some Indian sweets there's your Medu and your dal varas, some pickles and some Indian sweets like gulab jamun is a very popular Indian sweet. Then you had your fresh fruits counter, you had pineapple, watermelon and even musk melon and then some freshly squeezed juice some cornflakes cereals yogurt smoothies and milkshakes you even had different types of cheese and cold cuts This is perhaps their biggest restaurant at the hotel. We decided to start our day with some eggs and fresh fruits. As you can see, it's quite a big restaurant. I personally decided to start with some fresh fruits and sausages and bacons and also some chocolate croissants and Danish. My kid Ezekiel had his birthday and he started off his morning by cutting a cake during the breakfast. The restaurant staff were very kind and they brought a cake to our table to celebrate my kid's birthday. I just wanted to point out that the staff and the service, it's impeccable. And we really appreciate all that they did to make our time at the restaurant and the breakfast really, really special. We would highly recommend that you stay at the Western Kolkata if you are planning to travel to the City of Joy anytime soon. And uh, we can't emphasize enough on the word highly recommend because uh, our experience here has been joyful they've been able to deliver everything that we needed or anything and everything that we could ask for 
So again, folks, um, we highly recommend the Western Kolkata if your plan is to travel to the city of joy anytime soon. With that said, uh, I would like to thank you all for watching this video and um, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. There is a lot of effort that we spend uh, in making these videos, so it would really be very encouraging and motivating if you could hit that like and subscribe button. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that button and please do hit that like button as well and share this video with as many friends and family members so that they could also experience how it is to stay at the Western Kolkata. Again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next video, see you again folks. God bless you all.